Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're just going to jump right into Satisfactory today. Uh, nothing new to report. We have a new episode of Spawn Chunks out as of yesterday, which I mentioned. And I'm recording today with Steven on the Citadel Cafe later to talk about Arcane Season 2, Act 1. Uh, so that will be spoiler filled, uh, but uh, it'll be uh, something we'll give everybody a lot of warning on before, of course, we get into that discussion. But we're just going to jump right in here because I want to keep building. Curious as to what I can get sorted. I'm, I'm not happy with the way that the uh, left and right tunnels, I guess, are looking underneath Devastator, and I'm not really sure how to plan the inside. So I think I need to make some sweeping changes in here and start thinking about what, what might be next. And I'm trying to remember where we're building things. I know that we've got aluminum on the right-hand side here. So this is the aluminum factory. And it's sort of decorated, sort of not. Obviously it's the wrong color inside. I don't remember what this was. I think it was all white at some point. So we obviously have to make some changes in here too. So we're making casings in here. And then we're also making sheets. I believe these are the sheets. Yeah. So how many sheets are we making? 30 per minute times... So we're making 240 per minute. That's not bad. But they're not going anywhere. I think they're just being sunk. And these are not being turned into anything either. These are... 60 per minute times one, two, three. How many of these? Ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 16. All doing 60. Nine, 60. Hence, two belts. Two, 480 belts, yeah. Don't know why they're not all operating at 100% capacity, though. Seventy-three percent. We've got a problem with our aluminum somewhere that we will have to sort out. Dan Grice subscribing at tier one, forty-four months, forty-four glorious months, according to Dan. Well, that's very flattering. Thanks very much, Dan. Appreciate that. Uh, this place also looks like a. Crayola crayon box barfed. So I should probably address that. My guess is that this was gray. I might have to look this up on YouTube and see what we had this colored like. Let me just see if I can find that real quick. Playlists. Uh, this would have been last year. Satisfactory 2023. If I can see, it's probably just a thumbnail. If I can find a thumbnail, I can probably sort out the colors. Oh, getting there. This looks like it. Did I take any screenshots inside? Aluminum production, part two. Design. Looks like it was all white and green. Oh, it was gray. It was gray. Okay, so it was gray and white. I can probably sort that out. Yeah, take two. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. So it's because we changed our swatches around. Uh, 
We don't mind the green, actually. Maybe we'll keep that as a happy accident. Don't remember what that would be from, though. And those look like they might be purple. Yeah. Don't know whether those were different colors. More pink is needed. I am not surprised from chat. You know, it might be easier just to do this all with one white brush and then go back in and fill in the details later. And thinking about Devastator, I don't want to make every room green. So that's another reason why I've made some different color choices here. Starting to look better already. Definitely some purple there, and I don't remember changing the purple swatch. And I don't remember why I didn't do same pattern over here. Maybe it just didn't look good with the door. Or I didn't get to it, maybe? I don't know. now from working on um, the Metroplex save how flexible the concrete wall pieces are for when you do want to do some darker colors because of course it um, you really don't see the triangles very much because they don't have that big um, a relief texture to them yeah I don't know why this is here That's why we didn't do it, because we can't actually have that here. Um, right. All right, we can just end it there. I think that's fine. That or we could continue the purple. Yeah, because I can't turn that into different sizes. That's probably why we did it that way. And then this just kind of goes down.
looks the same to me. It does remind me of coloring and coloring books when you're a kid. Penguin Dude doesn't even know what was said. I just looked over and saw pink. Well, that's a constant in my channel. That doesn't say anything about me. That just tells you who is it, who's in attendance, what regulars are in chat when pink is, is being suggested, right? Like, I think that that's, that's pretty clear. What color green is that? I think it's that. This is one of my um, factories that I really like in terms of the design. Like I thought about the floor, I thought about the way that the machines are set up. It's very clean looking. The inputs and outputs are all sorted. I really like the way that it's come together. I get the feeling that these white things on the walls were not white. I feel like I've they were maybe green. Get the feeling that they were maybe green. I think that's everything along the walls. Don't know why that's blue. And my guess is that these are not purple either. That was probably a gray. So these are all making aluminum casing. I wouldn't mind making them more like a, a gray color. Or maybe white. really similar. Oh, the floors have been colored too. <laughs> uh, that's probably meant to be a gray. I remember all the complicated stuff that's happening underneath there, too. Man, what's going on down there? Find assemblers are really challenging because they cover up the whole, the whole thing. So you can't squeeze in there and change the block underneath them cover the hitbox. It's hard not to get dizzy doing this sometimes. Now those are bright yellow. We're going to have to change the belts too.
Now, why do you have... Oh, I see. Why didn't I use a half foundation here? Odd choice. Alright, well maybe we'll go with the darker gray for the beams. And then we'll go with the lighter gray for the machines. I do like this look, hiding the power in these beams. Be even cooler if we could string them straight up to the ceiling in a in a pattern where the entire electrical part of the machine would be completely hidden. And I think we'll just make these the same. Doesn't really matter what's happening underneath because you can't see any of it. can see this stuff here though. Might as well make the belts the same. And I guess probably gray. Holy smokes! Isaiah B. King! Thanks very much. Five tier one subs. And a sub for yourself. Very, very cool. Thanks very, very, very much. Uh, the, that went out to Sint42, Dow Regubbin, Hobo Skunk, that's a great name, Voided Mirror, and Wood Gaming 87. Uh, folks, if you received a gift sub from Isaiah, please thank them in chat and connect your Discord and your Twitch account so you can join us in the Joel Duggan Discord in between streams now. That's amazing. Thanks so much, Isaiah. What a fantastic way to support. So that's annoying. I have to go. I'll have to go underneath and change any remaining issues. Is that another five subs? Isaiah, my gosh. An that's t 10 gifted subs in total. Whisperil, the 47th Doctor. Skunk Puncher, another skunk. There's two skunks in chat. Just FYI, people. Uh, Ethan5T and Long Live Clone 99. 
So Star Wars fans. That's amazing. Again, folks, connect your Discords and your Twitch. You can now join us in the Joel Duggan Discord in between streams. Or right now, if you want. I mean, really, everybody should be here. Right? Right? You're all here. Um, <laughs> it reeks, said Blast Jordan. It's all the skunks. And another two gifted subs from Isaiah. Agastavi and Pap the Gamer. Again, if you received a gift sub from the very generous Isaiah, then make sure you thank them in chat. Isaiah, thank you so much. Wow. That's just incredible. Alright, I think that's all the surface level stuff up here. Uh, it's now just a matter of going underneath and maybe snagging any of the stray yellows that might be hanging out up here. If at all I can see them. There's one. There's another one. So you can see how all the logistics down here uh, really allow us to keep the mess from going too, too crazy upstairs. I think we're good. Don't remember that being yellow. Check that out again. Uh, Isaiah, again, thank you so much. Uh, and love the stream. Oh, thanks. I'm glad that you like it. I'm really happy that you enjoy the content. Very, very cool of you to support uh, and grow the community. And folks, if you really uh, are on the fence, I mean, it's uh, it's a free sub to the Discord for a month. So by all means, check it out. Today's your birthday. Well, happy birthday, Isaiah. Can we get some happy birthdays in chat for Isaiah? That's amazing. Not that this can be seen from the outside, but I do like to cross my T's and dot my I's. Uh oh, I just messed up. All right, well, the whole purpose of coming in here was to check to see uh, if if the aluminum was operating at full capacity and what was happening with the stuff afterwards. And it looks like um, we're going to do it up here. I guess these are going to be, I guess, purple. There's the casings going out. And I don't think there's anything happening with them. I think they're just being completely revamped. Sent to... Oh, here's the sheets. I think they're all just being sunk. Yeah, this is all getting destroyed. Okay. So we can look and see what the next like manufacturing thing would be with casings. You just got Minecraft and a new Switch. That's awesome. That's a great birthday gift. Sounds like someone knows you're a new gamer. Or not a new gamer. Some Someone knows that you're a gamer and knew what things you needed. Um, all clad sheets. 
Heat sinks. I don't think we're making heat sinks anywhere. That's an assembler thing, but that's sheets and copper sheets. I think it's probably in this. I have to poke around. Batteries take sheets. I thought they took casings. What takes casings? What are casings used for? Radio control units. That's what those are used for. And we're not making crystal oscillators yet. So supercomputers don't use, huh? What are radio control? Ah, they're in turbo motors. That's what they're in. I was thinking yesterday, as, as much fun as all the building was, I want to make sure we're still progressing, you know? Turbo motors. Oh no, so that's what I'll unlock. But in order to unlock it, I need fused modular frames. Oh, that's what the casings are used for. Right. So fused modular frames. And that also needs gas. Right, so casings, and we're making everything and except for the gas. What is that? Nitrogen gas? Nitrogen gas. Can I scan for that yet? Nowhere nearby. I'm assuming it's up there somewhere. Oh no, it's over there. Nitrogen gas. Hmm. There it is there. Three, two, and the one up there. And I'm going to be able to see that because of the nodes. Where are the other two? That's that one. This nitrogen. Oh, it's down there. Okay. Well, that's near a train line, so that's not terrible. That's definitely the closest to to us here, though. Yes. Interesting. Hey, Cosmic, how's it going? I'm 
So, fused frames is the next thing. And that takes mod heavy modular frames, which are down there. That's the blue. So that will probably end up being made over there. Or on the next floor. We just have to get nitrogen gas in here somehow. I did not allow for any pipes. Didn't make any concessions for pipes in the main bus. Outside of like along the floor. And even then, it's not the best. So I really don't know the best way to handle the gases. And it might be best to start like exporting some goods from here. But I think that's one of the challenges, I guess, of bringing things in. Tear it down and rebuild. Yeah. I'm not sure what would be the... I think the best thing to do would probably be to utilize... Um, well, I can't even use this space. We could probably utilize some of this space, I guess. I don't mind having some of the um, the guts exposed, you know? But this was meant for belts. I guess we could always package the gas, right? You can. That's a thing you can do. That's a thing you can do. Just realize that all this is going to have to move too. Yeah, we've got a pipeline coming in the back. So maybe that's the thing. Maybe I should bring all liquids and gases in through the back. Because that nitrogen gas line over there, we could easily set up a different, uh, a different station back here. That's probably the better idea. And then just have extra pipelines coming in the back here. Because that's all set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And from here to there is not that far. Not that far. Gas belongs in the back. Well played, Blastoid. Well played, Blastoid. The thing that I'm trying to just I'm trying to decide now is like where I want to put my new storage room and how I want to sort out this top section. I feel like I'd, I want to put it all the way up here. I feel like that's the best way. Is it gas or is it wind? I guess it depends on where you are on the planet. Cosmic. <laughs> depends on where you put your U's. How do you spell flavor? How do you spell neighbor? All depends. Yeah, if I start to plan this out, out here. Yeah, I think I like this view better. So I guess this is where we're going to put the storage room. How, how wide did I have it before? Was like three tiles. I feel like that's pretty good. And I'll give myself some depth here to deal with so we'll probably just use a wall here a 
plus logistics. So I guess the first canister would be here. Something like that would probably work. I don't remember how many of these I had. Six, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Probably go for twelve. That almost puts it right in the middle. So nine. We could also just have some spare ones for the eventual need. don't know if that's because I mean you're not going to be able to see it any windows or anything it's only going to be the front that'll have the glass or something on it plus I'm going to want to have a, a bin to like put stuff in as well Yeah, I find that depending on what website I'm using, sometimes spell check will change things. The thing that drives me nuts is uh, the way that Minecraft capitalizes stuff. Because in the in the item menu, they'll capitalize something because it's a menu. But then when you're writing it in a paragraph, people capitalize stuff in emails to, to the spawn chunks. And it's grammatically it's not right and so i have to edit all the emails and remove all the capitals from like talking about oak planks is capitalized it's like it's, that's not it's not a proper noun you know but that's just because that's how it's spelled in the minecraft menu so that's how people spell it in emails and then even mojang themselves will flip back and forth between like capitalizing the creaking and not you know? So if I put this up here, then I'll have three floors of logistics down here. So I can keep this tiny if I need to, which is good. There may be a lot of stuff happening down here. be a little bit wider. Uh, 
I don't know. This might work this way too. Is that two meter? does it maybe this will end up being um, roofs instead I don't mind the extra black Yeah, I don't know. Uh, long live Clone 99. Welcome in and uh, thanks for hanging out. Make sure you uh, have a good day. Appreciate you saying hi. Hope you have a good one. Do connect that Discord and uh, Twitch sub so that you can hang out with everybody and uh, find out when the next streams are too. Yeah, that looks a little bit strange, doesn't it? I may have to switch to a different angle here. I may want to go with a slightly better better color This is going to be more difficult. I think I might have to do more vertical stuff. Which is fine. That means the view will be a little bit better. But like you really have to be far away from it to even see the top. Penguin Dude says, my daughter's learning to read in the other night. She got frustrated and said, but the word doesn't sound like the letters. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to English. Have you gotten to the, the F and the PH yet? In learning and teaching her to read? Yeah, like you really can't even see much of that at all. I like the changes that we made yesterday. I do think this needs a little bit of a TLC.
Yeah, that feels a bit better. Less like a box. Looks like it might be time for a break. Oh, Cosmic, thanks very much. I'm glad that you like what we've been doing. It's been slow going. I don't feel like I've made much progress, even though I know I have. The night train. Uh, let's go. Megatron. This isn't the time of day you are looking for. Move along, please. <laughs> nice. Thanks very much for the 200 bits, Cosmic, and the TTS ticker uh, and the break reminder. Appreciate it. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for... Devastator Hub. Folks, if you're new to the channel, I take a break about once an hour. It gives me a chance to refresh the coffee. It gives you a chance to grab a stretch, maybe even grab a friend. We're always trying to grow the channel. I'll be back in about five or seven minutes.
I have to say, I really like the cleaner look of this smaller roundabout. I don't know how we're going to eventually remove this other one. Because I still need it to get up to that second level. I feel like this section is all kind of wobbly, too. Hey, Bally, how's it going? Thanks, Cosmic. Realizing that we're not making stators and motors here, either. I think this is the only intersection that it doesn't slow down for. Everything else, they all slow down. Hopefully you're working on your train in Satisfactory today. Good stuff. They are fun. They're a little frustrating too, but they are fun. Thanks, Dan. Do, 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 do. So one of the issues, of course, is that um, we don't have much happening on the inside of this particular building for decoration. So when trying to connect everything in here, all of this feels a little bit strange. I'm wondering if I should maybe change the stairwell in here. I don't know if this is necessarily a permanent solution or whether I just kind of threw it together. It's nice that it connects in here, but I could probably move it back. I've got space that I could put it. I guess the difference is that I wanted it to come out a certain space on the top, right? Yeah. The experience of getting into that top floor. I wanted it to be different. But like really this could be be better executed. So I think maybe to to make sure that things are looking out looking the way that I want out here, I'm going to change the way that 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 section works. I don't want to get too close to the door. I do like this view. Whoops. This view here. Oh, this is all yellow too. Yeah, there's something going on here. Not a bauxite or a coal, but something's slowing down. Not our scrap. I guess I gotta figure out why the smelters up or the smelters foundries. What are they doing upstairs? Smelters. So why is this only doing eighty five percent? Used the affiliate link on Nerd or Die and saved $6. That's awesome, Cosmic. Happy to help out. 
Um, I don't think I advertise that on a timer in chat, but I think it's a command. I want to say. You're like, why are you guys all slowing down? Like, you've got stuff in the hopper. Why would you stop working? Right? Like, it's not like you're starving for material. Does anybody know if there's a bug with smelters? Like, this should be going up with every... everything made, because... That's just at a constant, right? Maybe it's these ones I'm hearing at the end that are shutting down? I wonder if there's a lull when there's a train um, gap. Like if there's a lull where the bauxite or the coal or something runs out while the train's loading and unloading. Yeah. Why are you stopping? Y'all saw that, right? It's a yellow light right there. Like, you've got more than enough stuff. Saw a yellow light here, too. So that's, that's a coal problem. Be my guess. Why would there be not enough coal? All the belts are full. Oh, you know what it is? These are all one meter floor holes. And there's a bug right now where the one meter floor holes don't have the right throughput. That's the problem. That's annoying. And there's one meter floor holes everywhere. I've used them everywhere in this build. Oh, that's so annoying. I really hope they fix that soon. I, th I think they'll maybe, they'll maybe address it for the Fixmas update in December, I hope. How would you know the parts per minute of a train? Every hill and other uh, near train impacts that? Nope. Um, because we just make sure that the train never um, stops flowing. We've got buffer cars. So the load, unload animation, slight buffers in time, we've allocated for all that. So if I need 2.3 cars, I've got three cars, which is more than enough um, to have the goods fill in because if the train is delayed on the way to drop off it's also delayed on the way to get back which means that it also means that the train is going to be pulling in more next time so it's the throughput it's not so much the load time it's the it's the throughput that matters but anyway uh yeah i think what we're going to do is i'm going to make an adjustment here let's put a a wall hole here. Where is that? That's right on the seam.
connects to that. Oh, that's not going to be... That's not going to work out nice, is it? There we go. Alright, that takes care of that. I don't even think I really need this one. Probably powering a good chunk of the base. Don't want to delete you just yet. Have I done any of the Fixmas stuff? I think I messed around with it maybe the first year, but it didn't stick. I don't think I did. I think I was just too wrapped up in what I was doing with my own build and didn't bother with it. Like, I remember seeing the presence drop, but I think maybe I was working on, like, um, Metroplex or something. And I was just too wrapped up in that design. Alright, so if this doesn't matter, um, and I want to change this, and don't care about the um, stuff inside and say I wanted to make it very similar to what we've got over here. I feel like that looks okay. pattern in here, wasn't there? That's what that was for. Right. Well, I would prefer the outside look better and not have to worry so much about the inside. for that to be maybe even sturdier.
Yeah. Now, do we want do we want this to be in this direction or do we want this to to match this direction here? Hmm. Just I don't I'm not a big fan of what's happening here. I almost want to bring this all the way across. Yeah. And if I do that, then I can lower this. Simplify it a bit. But then add some depth here. That's only half meter. Like that looks pretty good. I don't think I need to do any like angles on it. I can kind of do it like that. How big is a truck? Out of curiosity, going through there. Lots of room. Not that it really matters. I'm just curious. Yep. Yeah, I think I like that better. I may not keep that. Um, I also am not sure about this part. This just feels very open and empty. Yeah, I think I like that better. I think I want that to be black. I think that's fine. The way that it is. Or, actually, maybe it does look pretty good in black. He does have a fair amount of black in him. I didn't have that open. Uh, there's not a ton of black. Some, though. More like in his arms and stuff. Hmm. I... I... Some people measure with tape measures, but Joel measures by taking a truck out of his pocket dimension because he's built differently. <laughs> Thanks for the DTS sticker, Cosmic. <laughs> Built differently. Yeah. That that tracks. Thanks very much. You can always just try different colors on different sides and see what looks better. I mean, the road's already pretty dark. We might want to stick away from... From the darkness there. And then here I'm wondering if we could go... We want to go higher? No. No, I think we stick... Stick with the low part here. I don't mind that this is higher, though. We could maybe have a different face there. I'm 
because that could connect we could maybe have this have a little bit more connection here yeah I don't mind that at all Which changes all of this stuff that we just did. Satisfactory, the game of building and rebuilding over and over again. So I think I'm digging that. Do we like the black, folks? I guess the problem is that I have to transition along here somehow. These are only four meters, so I could probably just do this. There's already one there. Really not much contrast up against the background. I don't even know what color those are. Purple it looks like. These are darker on this side. It just depends on the lighting, I guess. Yeah, that's the same. See, what I would probably do here is nudge this forward to have it overlap. That would be the easiest thing to do. It 
You like the hint of purple? Yeah. Plus we could also bring other elements into it. So we could have... The real purple, like, there. Although that kind of stands out. Well, this could stay gray. Like, this doesn't have to be the same as the bottom. We could have it separate the top there. I think maybe this needs to go back a step. Yeah. That needs more detail, but... I think that's pretty good. Alright, we'll go with purple for now. Notice that this is also missing. Just provides that little strip of gray along the bottom. Also missing it over here too. And I don't remember how I got those up there. I was using oh I see what I was doing okay that's a different color Not sure about that one. And this would have just been triangle pieces. Yeah. Easy to fix. Right. So I don't think... This is definitely not the same. I 
Well, that goes all the way up the outside. Yeah, I may have to think about what's going to happen there. The idea there is I just I probably liked this look. The exposed black part in here in the inside. So we'll do that for now. I can't say that I'm crazy about this whole angled piece. I think it might be better to just keep this flat. Keep it simple. I'm going to put it on an angle. I should put it on more of an angle, not not such a subtle angle. Yeah, I don't know whether we should have this be green. I feel like that makes more sense. I feel like I should probably put in roof parts here. Again, like I think I probably built this initially before these roof parts were in the game. It's been a long time. And I use them all the time in the other Cybertron build too, right? Do they have inner corners? They do. And that looks cooler than the inner ramp. Now here I had put in windows that were supposed to be, I guess, sort of lined up with like the first row here then not the first row there because I had the door to worry about but I think we're gonna I mean the door is no longer so I don't have to worry about this at all and I think that means we can have a much nicer design in here much more interesting and I don't know if we're gonna keep that we might But I would, would rather have a much bigger window. Oh, maybe not all the way down like that. Is that going to be... That's not really even over the door, so maybe we should do it based on the door. So one, two that way, and then one, two that way.
That's not going to be necessarily center on the inside. Cheers, Cosmic. Thanks ever so much. We'll see you on the flip side. So here's something where we could have like the foundations in here. Still lead up to a window, but have that window be much larger. I do like these ones. Question is, I guess we could just go from here. Not gonna let me do it that way. But then we could change the shape of this a little bit. This is just calling back some of the design elements I used in the Cybertron playthrough, grabbing things like these. Yeah, I'm not really a crazy fan of this. I wonder if I could... Can I still keep this? In here, hmm. I could just cap it there. Gonna be something we can resolve better inside without affecting the outside. I can do angled beams now a lot better too. Or angled pillars, I should say. Now obviously the hypertube is in the way. Oh, I thought that was flat. Crap. That 
Thanks for the work and the lurk, Penguin. Appreciate it. All right, so this is kind of the broad strokes of this building. But overall, I think that looks a bit better. I kind of want to give this a different color. And something's missing. Is that box light? I don't remember what was supposed to be going in there. That does seem a little bit silly, doesn't it? That's a lot easier to deal with. Feels very boring and barn like, but at the moment it just needs to be not green. Okay, I feel like that's a pretty solid, I guess, resolution for now of this shape. Kind of going into that shape. So let's do the same thing over here. that along. Remove those two bits. And if, yeah, there's nothing back here. I knew I had more flexibility on this side. I wasn't too worried about it. I know I said I wanted it to be asymmetrical, but I think I might have to worry about that later. meter with a two meter on top. And that just connected? It just connected. Did that go up with that line? I think it did. Looks like it did. Just for one. here.
Now, we don't know what's happening on this side, so we didn't really get that far. Yeah, I think this might have to come out a little bit. We only got one thing of space. This goes a lot higher on this side than obviously on this side. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know you're working a build, big build when you're flying around digitally in a space and you're leaning in your chair <laughs> to try and see around stuff? You know you're working big when, right? that okay it's a floor hole interesting Maybe we'll do the same thing along here. This guy. Transportation. actually comes out. That line up. Jeez, I did an alright job. This, of course, is all over the map, but we will get there. Realizing that this side might be better off with the same sort of um, two meter treatment. Satisfactory in VR. That exists. Uh, it's not officially supported, but somebody made it, and you can find YouTube videos on it. I think it's a mod. Uh, it's apparently wild just how big everything is if you do it in VR. But you can look it up. It, it totally exists. Well, why am I getting flecks of green in there? Obviously, I've got some temporary bits that no longer need to be there. What is my default concrete wall texture right now? That's why everything's coming out purple. Also not the right color.
Yeah, I do really wish that the concrete in this game would be more consistent with other things. It's, it makes it really challenging when you want to have everything be the same color or whatever. And you're stuck. Looks like it's time for a break while I'm battling color at night. <laughs> Let's just jump on the brake train. Once again, folks, I take a break about once an hour. It is that time. Time for me to grab a, another cup of coffee, grab a friend if you want. We are trying to grow the channel as always, and uh, just telling people about it is free, and it really helps me out a lot. So give me a few seconds here to get this going. And I will be back in about five or seven minutes.
Well, I'd say that the length of that brake train is actually pretty good. Um, it never ceases to amaze me how quickly two hours will go by when you're working on decorating stuff like this. Wild. Absolutely wild. I like the shape of that. When you're in it, the, the way that it looks when you're coming in and out of it looks kind of cool. That to me feels much better. I don't know if we're going to do... I don't know if it... I don't think I lined these up. I might have. I probably didn't. Oh, you look, look at that. I did. We could put a door just like this across from here. That might actually be a cool idea. To really mirror it, you know? That could be fun. Yeah, I feel like that could be a cool way to do it. Maybe we don't have it be completely symmetrical. Like maybe we have the, the door be farther in on this side. I don't know. I think it would be fun to do. This doesn't have the red the ledge on it at all. Yeah, I don't know. Do I want to do that out here? We had it maybe a little bit deeper. It might look funny. Let's see. That's going to mess around with this. Oh, yeah, that, will, that would look funny there, too. Interesting how I did that. I guess I probably put one of these on the outside. I would say, yep. And then this goes down while it's in the door. And here we could probably go down twice.
Originally, I think I was going to bring things up in here. But I don't think that's the case anymore. Goes down. I guess we'll just leave it as a tunnel. How do I do it over here? Right. Must use a smaller one, I guess. I don't know how I got these in the right position. So we're going to change them. I always forget that I leave the headlamp on and I wonder why I'm getting all this glare during the day. The stream, um, Steam VR set seems to be good too, but expensive. Yeah, VR right now is not at a price point where it's really accessible. I don't think anyway. I mean, it's fine if it's, if like gaming and streaming is your profession, then sure. But, but yeah, right now, not so sure. Uh, how? I don't know how I want to do this. There is a hog somewhere making naughty noises. Hear him. here. I hear you scuffling around.
There you are. Samples of new alien species acquired. Notable features are blunt teeth, suggesting it is herbivorous, and a thickly plated skull and spine, suggesting it is proficient at inflicting and receiving blunt force trauma. Research the remains in the MAM to establish classification and potential countermeasures. Forget that there's a bunch of stuff that I haven't done in this save since we updated to 1.0. be okay for now. I guess we could just change this to be all gray maybe. I gotta move this again too. Yeah, I think symmetrical was probably the better way to go. We can mess around with this building once we figure out what else is going in it. That one? Cool. It is very easy to move things, yeah.
Oh, that's different. How do we... How do we not have that happen? Oh, don't know why that's not happening on the other side. Oh, because we didn't bring it all the way to the edge. That's why. That's why. Right. I think that's dumb. I don't know why they I don't know why they overlap like that. to hide but still not my favorite and that is probably gray on the outside yeah about that kind of stuff. These might be better as two meter foundations. And that shows up there. right that's an easy fix and then out here we can just pop one of these over here Basically, you'd never know. It's actually a decent little bit of detail inside. We could always just have this be two meters I guess I could just try to move this somewhere Concrete. It's coming up over there. Oh, wow. Or over here. That's for... Is that the output? That is... Defunct? What is this from? It's an output for something. Probably overflow... Overflow... 
Yeah. Overflow industrial beams. Okay, so I can't mess with that. Um, let's bring these guys over this way, I guess. That's a simpler solution. Yes. We will remember not to use a one meter floor hole. What is this? This is all mark threes. Actually, I guess I can probably... Well, we'll do it this way. That doesn't actually connect. Save. For, um, what did I fix here? This is, I guess, central building design? Sure. Need another mark three. That should fix that. Looks like it's happening. Where's that coming in there? I think that's what it's supposed to be. Yep. So now we can just maybe bring in a little sign here. exactly what to do with this. I guess we'll just maul it off like that. Sure. Or at least from the ground. If 
feels like a door, sort of. I guess technically there would be something there. Gives the idea that there's at least some function happening. Decorate that later. Yeah. So far, so good. I'm, I'm focusing mostly on the like the ground level here. I think that's pretty good. Now those are going to be hidden by the walls. This still feels kind of weird. I'm wondering if we just have this go up higher. That's not how it's done either. How did I get that to be a certain... That's interesting. How did I get that on that height? Probably a beam? Probably a beam. Now, weirdly, I'm probably going to want to delete this support here because it's going to look weird. But we'll smooth that out.
Then we just connect this through. So I could have all the hypertubes come through here, which could be neat. But I don't know if I want them all running underneath the train. I think this needs to go all the way back. So really now it's about the details of what's, what's happening here and how we handle all of that. What's going on there? Oh, this is just missing. Missing a wall. Not crazy about these three kind of pillars. I need to do something with them. This whole thing just feels very plain. Um, what I'd like to try to do with it is Get some of the angled pieces and some of the other transformers, just like the paneling work that you see, the details in the paneling. It's mostly in his chest plate, but you can also see it in other other spots around his abdomen and and stuff. I feel like we could probably work in some grills or something. It would be really cool if I added some some serious depth and had a, had like a vertical like a horizontal wall or something going into it yeah Yeah, there definitely needs to be more like overlapping panels and stuff. I don't mind these little um, pillar bottoms that we put on the bottom of like the rib cage. That seems to be working out okay. More details and more depth. Yeah, yeah. That's it's just it feels like this feels like it has a little bit more going on than this does. And because one of the things you can do, like for example, we can grab um, something like this, right, and then. Place one down. Place another one down.
right? So you can kind of repeat that process and then you end up with this really cool like vertical kind of grate system. And that can look really neat. Unfortunately, we can't do it horizontally. Like the front of a truck, yeah, because um, the the body of the crane, I think, has that kind of grill. I mean, I've made this much larger than Devastator would be in real life. It's more like just an inspired by design. But like, if we get rid of some of this stuff quickly, I'll leave those just in case I want to put them back. But like we could have something like this. Wanted to have like another angle. Come down there. Down here. Probably about here, I guess. Maybe a little bit lower. So we're going to add a layer on top, right? And maybe this is, right? Just a different gray. But then we could also have some depth in here, so like maybe some of this. Could be like a grill or something. I don't know. I'm not sure like whether we want to start covering things up like this. Because again, it's like a cool layer, but then it, it starts to blend in. And he seems to have more borders than he does like internal paneling. But it's really difficult to do vertical borders. So maybe we scrap this idea. Right, so that at least gets some cool, you know, depth happening. And then, yeah, I don't know. I feel like we need something like in this area but if it goes over to here it's going to go right to the edge which won't work but then again like we could also bring out um a little bit more depth here oh there's nothing to set it on one something that height so 
So we can delete that without losing it. And then we could have some sort of grill system happening in here. The real way to do this would be to, to do a blueprint. Yeah, I know. I don't know about the vertical grill. We might have to go with beams or something. We did it on the front. We could use... um. Foundations. And then just delete every other one. Right? Like, that's not bad. And we paint them something bright. Maybe make them chrome or something. Although the chrome kind of gives the um, gives them an edge, doesn't it? Not a bad idea. Word Nerdify. Hello, hello. But then, of course, like, I don't want this to go all the way to the edge. And what would be really cool is if we were able to put, like, a light behind it. So if I put a wall here... Say, for example, I was able to get one of these in there. This is just a real basic proof of concept, but get that. I don't think I have a red light. All of a sudden, you've got these really big horizontal lights. Looks like something's cooking. Let me reflect off of stuff. Looks more interesting than just the flat bars. Thanks, Word Nerdify. We've been slowly making things a little bit tighter, going through some of the, the broad strokes. Um. I feel like we could maybe maybe this is too tall. then like where do you cut it off like how do you stop it
and then how do you make it look like it works with the rest of everything? I just I find that there's it's such a hard challenge trying to get these pieces to flow together the right way. It's sort of what I want. Then I also feel like it should have bits here that are farther out. But then, like, that doesn't really work in this corner, so I don't know. I mean, it starts to get a little bit cooler looking. But then I start to question whether these look good and where to put them. And Like here, it might be better to have just one of these in the middle. Just so it's not all the same. I don't know. We'll get there. We will get there. Uh, unfortunately, though, that's where I need to wrap things up for today. I've been trying to keep my stream length back to where they were uh, around um, three hours in the afternoon, if I can. Uh, otherwise, I find I get behind on other stuff. And uh, we had a good couple of months where I was doing a lot of satisfactory and getting in like, you know, four or five hour streams. But I need to dial that back. Uh, but we will send you on to somebody else playing satisfactory. Let's just see if I can find somebody else who's live. If you know somebody that you follow and you'd like to recommend uh, a raid, then by all means, throw that in the chat. Um, right now, Exuma Void is playing Satisfactory. I can send you guys all over to Exuma. I'm sure that's a good time. Exuma, of course, is um, well known for Minecraft stuff, but if you are watching me for Satisfactory, I think you will also enjoy Exuma. Uh, we will be back uh, tomorrow, Thursday, 1 o'clock Atlantic, UTC minus 4 hours. Um, let's just see. And uh, again, tonight I'll be recording the Citadel Cafe. And we'll be talking about Arcane Season 2. The first three episodes of that kicked off this past weekend. Steve and I will be having a good conversation about that, I'm sure. If you're in my Discord, uh, if you received a gift sub today, we record live. Uh, for the Sizzle Cafe in my Discord. There's a special channel for it. So at 8 o'clock tonight, uh, local time here for me, uh, we will be doing that live. So if you're around and you want to listen in to a uh, recording of a conversation about Arcane, then by all means, stop on by. And uh, beyond that, I'm just easy to find. Joel Duggan on social media, Joel Duggan on Twitch, uh, Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube if you want to watch some of the, the previous VODs for this build. And uh, that's really about it. I'll see you folks tomorrow. Thanks ever so much. Bye for now.